This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Cinematic black bars or letterboxing or that widescreen look or simply cropping, which is what it kind of is, is an effect that people like to use because it gives it a much more cinematic effect. It gives you that widescreen effect while still maintaining a regular 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's really common in certain TV shows. Top Gear use this a lot. They close the aspect ratio in, giving these black bars at the top and the bottom to give it a more cinematic look. It's also really popular on YouTube. People doing it in vlogs and all that sort of stuff just because, again, it gives it a slightly different look. This effect is actually quite easy to create in DaVinci Resolve. You can just use an adjustment clip, a little bit of cropping. You can even animate it using some simple keyframes and job done. But I wanted to make it a little bit easier, so I've created a magic letterbox tool. Now, you do need to be on DaVinci Resolve 17.4 at the very least to be able to use this because it is a DRFX file. That just means it's really easy to install. But if you're on an older version, you may have some trouble. If you are, let me know down in the comment section below. I might be able to sort something out for you. Now, whether you actually like that letterboxing effect is entirely up to you. I quite like it. I think it's neat. It does change the way things look, so I have no issues with using it whatsoever. One quick point I will make, though, if you're trying to make a proper widescreen project, you want your entire video, your entire render, whatever it is you're creating to be widescreen, you shouldn't use black bars like this because it's essentially wasted space. What you should do instead is actually use a proper widescreen aspect ratio. Just go into your project settings, set your timeline resolution to be a widescreen resolution. Just Google them, have a little look, see which one you think will work best for you. I've even made an old video on it, which you can check down in the description below. Set it to a proper widescreen resolution and you won't be having any wasted space. So first of all, how do you get hold of it? Let me show you really quick how to download it and how to install it. So first thing you need to do, jump over to my Ko-fi page and you'll find the Magic Animated Letterbox Tool version 2. There is, of course, a link down in the description below. Then all you need to do, pop how much you wish to donate or pay for the tool in the box. Feel free to put zero if you can't or don't want to donate anything at all and then hit get now. It'll ask for some basic details, pop those in, and then you want to check out. Finally, you want to view the content, and within here, you'll see a DRFX file. Just give the download button a click to download it. Once downloaded, you get a big, long DRFX file that looks something like this. All you need to do, double click. DaVinci Resolve will open up, and then it'll prompt you that it's trying to install a new effect. Simply hit Install and then you're good to go. Now I'm able to give these sorts of things out for free thanks to great sponsors of the channel like Skillshare. Now for those that don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for those who love learning and want to learn new skills. I'm always looking to learn and develop new skills and if you're watching this channel, I guess you probably are as well. And that's why Skillshare is so great. They've got things like photography to video editing to maximizing productivity, something I'm always trying to improve on and learning how to create and grow your own YouTube channel. I've been watching YouTube success script, shoot and edit with MKBHD, who is of course Marcus Brownlee, which is a fantastic course that covers everything from researching topics, planning visuals, and of course, creating thumbnails, something which I'm trying to get better at as well. So if you fancy checking out Skillshare for yourself, make sure to check out the link down in the description below. The first 1000 people to give it a click will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Winner. Then you want to start using the magic letterbox tool. That's really easy as well. Let me give you a real quick demo. So here we are on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. Now, first things first, open up your effects library, top left hand corner, come down, expand effects, and then go to the Mr. Alex tech folder. And within here, you should see this. The logo just says bars and it's called the Magic Letterbox version 2 tool. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can apply this. You can either apply it directly onto your footage on the timeline, or you can use an adjustment clip. I'll show you both methods. So I'm going to grab this magic letterbox and I'm going to drop it on this footage here and release. And if we hit play at the beginning, you'll see these bars are just going to animate in like so. And right at the end, they'll just animate back out. It's dynamic as always, so you can make this clip as long or as short as you need it to be, and the animation will update accordingly. If I make a little cut in the middle, that will just mean that this first clip will animate out at the edit point and then it will come back in. So it's completely dynamic, completely scalable. You can just make it work for you as you need to. If we give the clip a click on the timeline, open up the inspector, click on the effects tab, there's your controls within here. 
Now we've got an aspect ratio tool, so we can just choose between 16 by 9, 1.85, 2.1, cinema scope, 2.35. I've just used a bunch of the most common aspect ratios on there. So if I go for this Panavision, we've got a really big crop and it looks something like this. You've then got a speed slider. So zero means there's no animation whatsoever. It's just gonna pop in. One should be about one second, but it looks a little bit quicker. That's because of the curve. I find two works really, really well, but you can go up to four with the slider, which will make it take even longer. This box is custom, so you can put whatever number in there if you want. If you wanna put 10 in there and have a really slow animation, you can do, just experiment with what works for you. Now I've created a custom animation curve to give it the look that I like, but if you don't like that, you can come around and you can customize this curve, do whatever you want to it to change the way that this bar comes in. If you completely mess this up, the easiest way to fix it in the top right hand corner is this little reset button. Just reset that and it'll reset everything within the tool. Now, if you don't like this curve, you wanna have a mess around. If you change the curve to linear, you just get sort of a no acceleration mode. It just pops in like that. Or you can change that to easing and then choose from any of the predefined easing dropdowns like so. Now, something else I've added for this version too is a color option because some people ask for it. So what you can do is just change the color of the actual crop. So we can click in the color box and if we wanted it to be white, for example, we can just change that to white, click on okay. And now we've got a sort of white crop instead. This can work well for slideshows and photos more than videos, but if you're looking for something weddingy maybe and you just want this white crop instead, you can have it or you can pick from any color you like. You can even change the type color box to go with a horizontal gradient, a full color gradient, a proper gradient that you can customize and do what you like with. Just experiment to get this looking exactly as you want it. Now that's the clip by clip method, which of course works if you're just trying to do it over a single clip. If you want to do it over a massive timeline, for example, all you need to do, go to effects, grab an adjustment clip, put that on your timeline above everything that you want to have the cinematic crop applied to. Then click on your Mr. Alex Tech once again, grab your magic letterbox and drop it on the adjustment clip instead. And then that crop will appear on everything that's underneath the adjustment clip. So you can move it, stretch it, put it wherever you want it, and you'll always have this widescreen sort of look which will automatically animate in and out whenever you need it. Now, quick note, this tool will work on any landscape resolution. It's actually taking the width and the height and then figuring out what resolution and what aspect ratio it needs to be from the little drop down. So it will, or at least it should work whatever landscape resolution you use, but it doesn't work for portrait resolutions. That's something totally different and have to have a look at that. But for now, this doesn't work for portrait, just for landscape. And that's it. That's my magic letterbox tool. Hopefully you find it useful. If you do, let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time.